My second upload um, this afternoon on the 26th is with regards to uh, my victim impact statement and with regard to um, the issue of all citizens' safety in society. Um, as all agencies that I've been contacting continuously are aware of, I have experienced these offences. Um, as a UN or an EU citizen, I'm entitled to my protection order from these people perpetrating these offences. Um, I have queries that I have put forward to the relevant agencies that have not been acknowledged. I have queries about people that have perpetrated offences against me being in any close proximity or vicinity of me and that are continuously, continuously violating my rights. I have queries about how the human rights issues and the violations that I'm experiencing aren't being acknowledged. I have queries about how the culprits are being facilitated. I have queries about why there has been with, uh, information withheld from me that I am entitled to be informed of and that I am worried and concerned about not being informed about. I'm curious and querying why people have um, thought it necessary to violate human rights and undermine and isolate and ostracize due to hate crime. I'm querying how mature professionals are facilitating injustice. I'm querying why people think in this situation that being married and deserted is a cause or a reason for others to violate a woman's human rights. I'm querying how people are wondering about how the spiritual assault, gifts, light and blessings, etc., that have been exploited in this situation against me since 2017 are going to be in any way um, ignored from what they've gained from my light body and for what they've exploited. I'm querying how professionals think it credible for them to impose financial abuse and theft and exploitation against a woman that they have prospered and gained from. I'm querying how desertion, abandonment, etc., etc., and all the serious violations that have been perpetrated are being excused and ignored. I'm querying how people of ill intentions are being prioritised over a honest citizen. I'm querying how these people are above the law in causing problems for an individual they have no business involving themselves with and that they owe quite a substantial amount to. I'm querying why there has been an obstruction of justice yet again in this county. And I'm querying how it's been ignored that people are making claims that are unsubstantiated and that are completely false. So I've sent my FOIs to the relevant agencies with regards to information of me that has been doctored, altered and falsified. There have been people making false claims and making very dangerous accusations and causing very serious disruption to a person prior to marriage that lived a very fulfilling and prosperous life. These people that think they're beyond or above the law and that have violated very seriously have no conscience for the damages they've caused and have persisted in making matters worse by avoiding the consequences of their actions and incurring more serious consequences as a consequence of not confronting. So these are my queries. I have sought assistance and information with regards to what I'm entitled to know. Um, there is no reason why my rights should have been 
ignored or disrespected but due to hate crime which is being perpetrated and people being audacious and very rude and disrespectful lying and defaming and thinking they're going to impose violations of freedom and violations of all 28 rights of the Human Rights Declaration are, as far as I'm concerned, suffering very seriously and mentally so not to understand that this is 2020. I'm very concerned that in 2020, the choice of professionals to turn a blind eye to injustice and defamation and financial abuse and theft and exploitation after the spiritual violence that I've experienced in this community is actually occurring. These people that have imposed upon me since I got married and that have thought that they are above the law and are in any position to disrespect my good work and my qualifications and my credentials and my good name, character and reputation have absolutely disrespected any sense and sensibility of human rights. So this is a collective vendetta. This is what I'm experiencing on my, on my, on my own every day. Medical incompetence, desertion, violations of privacy and people thinking they're in control of a situation with regards to not only human rights, but my spiritual rights and my light body and gifts and blessings that they damaged and destroyed and the body of light and my physical body that they also disrespected. So as I've mentioned in my uploads also, there are people that think that they're in a position to decide for me without consulting me. There are people in this situation that have decided to ignore my experience in this entire situation. There have been people in this situation that have no business discussing anything about this situation. So this is what's occurring. And as a fully sane, functioning adult, considering the restrictions and confinement that has been imposed due to isolation and people imposing very serious, uh, you know, issues for me due to their issues is a very serious, as I say, malaise. And as far as fellowship is concerned, that's insanity. And the mental health services that aren't addressing these kind of issues and that are concerned and prioritising health and well-being are jeopardising their professional ethics. So as an adult woman that has been victimised and violated in the community and as regards civic society and these people that have lied through their teeth, that have stolen so much and that have caused so much damage, I am hugely concerned that authorities and agencies, civil liberty agencies, have been prevented simply due to a hate crime vendetta, simply due to people trying to climb up a ladder of very, very ill serving agendas and that have not been honest, that have not been truthful and that have not had any moral conscience. So this is what I'm experiencing every day. And for those that think that violating the rights of a spiritual sentient being, a, an adult, a citizen, um, a woman, a mother and a deserted wife and a teacher, those people that think that's smart, intelligent and clever, I have very serious concerns about their mentality and I have very serious concerns about mental health services that facilitate this kind of a vendetta. So as a teacher and as a graduate of the University of Limerick in language and cultural studies, I hope that the UL graduates and students are aware of the cultural and sociological perspective and consequences and factors of hate crime. And these uploads and documentary topics um, are of relevance because if hate crime is tolerated once then what will be next and what will be worse 
So that's my second upload for today. They're my queries. And for the professionals and the power players messing up my life and livelihood that have no conscience for the consequences, um, I hope that there's a little bit more awareness raised about these issues, about people avoiding the wrongdoings that they've perpetrated and obstructing justice and perpetrating injustice.